hadn't filmed anything in a while. I figured I'd give you guys a heads up on the truck. Um, I'm gonna try to film a lot more of my new project. So, hope you guys are excited. I'm sure I've already shown you guys inside. Ooh, you guys might got a hand yeah, was back there, but still haven't cleaned it. Um, I'm trying to run my, I got a vintage air heater defrost, so I'm gonna try to run my hoses over there, run it down here. Kinda did my wire loom, but I need to work on that a little bit more, for sure. Um, I need to tuck all that up. Um, I have some leaks, some tranny leaks that I need to figure out, that I'm pretty sure are in the tail shaft housing. I'm pretty sure this is still leaking. Maybe not. Um, and something else is leaking over here. And I don't think it's oil. At first I thought it might be that oil dipstick that I had to drill in. But I don't know. It seems like it's leaking on my valve covers. Which isn't that cool. Back here, it seems like it's leaking. But what I did yesterday is I took a road trip with my dad. Um, took a road trip and picked up this camper. <laughs> That I was pretty sure it was a long bed when I got there, and it is a long bed. So, uh, you know, I'll be modifying it. I I want it shorter. I'm gonna try to get it to somewhere in, you know, maybe a couple inches above the cab. Um, but I want to leave these windows alone. Probably modify this one. Maybe just run one and just kind of extend the extend those out, but center it and everything. So, that'll be some work. I also want a rack. I want a, like rack bars across the top, but this thing uh, looked like death when I got it, kind of. It's not, obviously it looks fine, but uh, you can't really see in there, but really moldy. I just took it to the car wash and sprayed it. and So, it has this door, which I did not know from the pictures, because the guy only had one picture, and so I drove two hours, 100 some miles, uh, to go get it even though I only saw one picture but the price was good so I couldn't pass it up so last night I pulled it has all this wood paneling in as you can see it has all this wood paneling some of it's hanging down um, it has insulation let's see if I can show you so insulation up in there but I'm gonna pull all that out I don't really want the insulation in there uh, because if it leaks, if it gets in there, it gets moldy, and I don't really care if it's in there, but this is all wood frame on the outside. This back corner was kind of mangled and rotted out. I'm sure the rest is rotted out, but it's hanging on for dear life, so. Um, at least all the hinges and everything are there. Uh, I just need to um, get some metal put in this corner and pull all this siding and crap off. I'm gonna try to uh, make it look good, not be too loud, but I need to figure out uh, what I'm gonna do as far as this back door. Obviously, because I wanna shorten it about 12 inches, which is somewhere in here. Um, I would like to narrow it because it hangs off on both sides, you can see. So I like to narrow it three inches. Um, once I get all the stuff off, I'm gonna check out the framework. Um, narrow it three inches, obviously 20 inches, since it's a short bed, not a long bed. Um, and then uh, 12 inches down. So I got some work cut out. And then I wanna make a hinging door. This is a big hinge, if you can see. This is a big hinge, but then also I have this hinge door. So, uh, I kind of want a big glass like I have up there, um, but in the back, I'd like to be able to see as much as I can. And and with these side uh, windows, I I could actually see pretty good. So uh, I I uh, have little tiny mirrors, so it's hard to see. Um, so I don't want um, to have to use my mirrors when I drive. I want to be able to see out the sides. Sorry, I gotta clean all this up. Um, so, um, I think the game. Something's in there. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think the game plan is 
um, to maybe make this not as wide so I could use uh, some kind of clamp or I kind of want uh, it to slide down into the steak pocket holes and then just have a clamp in the middle, clamp over here. I bought some kind of cool aluminum clamps at this salvage yard yesterday, but um, I do, it sucks. I kind of do like all this um, <laughs> cheesy old paneling, but it's not gonna be worth saving it, I don't think. I don't, for one, I don't think I'm gonna be able to save it. It's kind of fragile, but uh, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to pull all that off. You can see all these bees in here. I got this window to move. But I haven't really, I haven't played with the other ones to see how they go. Um, so, pretty cool. I was happy. I, I was actually going to build a camper show. Uh, because I wasn't having any luck finding one of these. And then this popped up. I finally got Facebook just so I could buy and sell stuff. Which is, I'm not a fan of um, that. I really need to get off social media because it drives me crazy. But... Um, as far as I get obsessed looking at trucks is what I mean. Uh, so this is the project I would, the goal is to get wild on it and get it done for next weekend. I'm supposed to go to Kansas, uh, with some friends, go ride some ramps. Maybe I'll film some stuff over there. Um, I'm back to riding collarbones healthy. So, uh, um, I really want to do that so I can sleep in my truck. Um, so I'll be cutting this off, um, tailgate's down, it doesn't really need to be down, but, um, that's what we're working with, um, but like I said, it has a, this, uh, one by one box, aluminum tubing, um, so I want to find some more of that. So, uh. Sorry, I heard a weird noise. Yeah, so once I get all that out, all this stuff off, I'll have a better uh, idea what's going on underneath there. But I don't have a trash can out here, so I don't want to pull all this off and then have it blow out the back of my truck all down the highway because you also can't see my license plates when I'm driving like this because my truck's lowered. Um, I like to not get pulled over, so... Uh, that's what we're working with. Hope you guys like it. Um, obviously, by the time I actually edit these videos and stuff, you guys, I'll be done with everything. So I need a computer before I can edit. But that's what we're working with. I kind of like, I like the idea of it. I want to, uh, I want to get all these windows centered. Like, obviously, I want that centered in here. But I would like uh, these down lower. I would like these all to sit parallel or however on the same plane how they are now but i want all that lower i want it all squatted down and it just seems obviously everything seems too tall but if it was even here that wouldn't be that bad so we'll see my friend works on these trailers and stuff so he's dealt with this stuff a lot more than me so he'll have a better idea but i could seriously probably just like cut this here and get it all to work but I think I'm gonna paint it actually I've been uh, thinking about having some friends uh, that I know maybe paint the middle strip and then leave these sides or paint them white or something or or brown I obviously I would love them all polished but I don't think any of that I don't think that's gonna polish well that old cheap grainy aluminum is probably a horrible to try to clean up so maybe I'll just cut this back panel and then work on that and see what I can do but if it was all shiny that'd be cool since my truck will be shiny enough later this is the inside uh, it's all the wood paneling I'm gonna try to pull it off and see what's up but you can t it's already wet up here so I feel like it's yeah it's leaking I want to try to save it but it's probably not savable um once I start ripping it, I don't know. I might not even try to save it. Because obviously I'm trying to shorten it, um, narrow it, uh, and obviously make it a short bed. So it's all wood frame down here, as you can see. 
So I'm going to slowly start pulling this apart. I'm actually going to pull it into my backyard and put it on some stands and all that. But tonight I'm going to try to get all this insulation off. It's in here. Uh, get all that wood out. Um, get everything clean. To see what's going on in here. I want, I want to try to see what the framework looks like. Um, so I can see what I'm working with. I'm actually... I'm starting to have an idea of pulling one whole window to this to this back glass or to the back uh, hinge door um, and then putting this cutting this in half so we'll see where I get tonight but heads up I want everyone to see the inside before I cut it all up 